Hey everyone, in this quick video, we'll use On One Light Panel's local adjustments to make our subjects pop and darken the backgrounds for stronger separation. So we're inside of Light Panel and we have Lightroom opened up right next to it there. And so I've gone through and I've analyzed this entire wedding shoot and let's say I've culled through my images and I've found my selects. It's now time to dive into the editing process. And I just want to show you a quick way that you can create a bit of separation between your subject and your background by using automatic local adjustments. You can also use these local adjustments for just simply darkening a background if it's too bright and distracting within that image. So let's go into light panel. I'm going to choose my selects category. That's going to take me into these images that I've flagged as my selects. And I'm just going to open up grid view here. And I'll go to the top so I can see all my five star rated images, my selects. And let's grab this photograph here and let's go into light panel. We'll choose develop. And we're going to head into this local adjustment section here. So whenever we click on one of these options and we'll just take a look at these bottom two, for example, whenever we click on pop subject, it's going to automatically dive into Lightroom and create a mask for us for that specific subject. So you can see it's automatically placed a mask onto our portrait subject there. And it's enhancing that area so that the subject stands out within the scene. Now, with any of these sliders, you can always pull up on them to make them a bit stronger, or you can pull back on them to make them a little bit less strong for that image that you're working on. But let's just pull this up all the way so that we can really see the before and after in action. It's really doing a great job of just enhancing the subject and making him stand out within that scene there. I'm gonna do the same thing with darkened background. This time that's going to create a mask around our subject and it's going to protect the subject so that we're simply just darkening the background within this image. So let's just pull up on this quite a bit as well. And you can see we're creating a lot of nice separation between our portrait subject and the background that he's in. So if we hit the backslash key on our keyboard here, we have the original, and then after, with our portrait standing out a lot better within this darker scene there. Now keep in mind you can use these local adjustments alongside any of these other options as well. You can always jump into light panel itself, and let's say this image just needs a little bit more of a shadow boost. We'll just pull up on the shadows there, just like that. And let's hit that backslash key on the keyboard again. We have the original and then after. So that's how easy it is to pop your subject or darken a background within the develop tab instead of light panel. Let me show you one quick way that you can just use it to darken up the background. So we'll go back into our selects here. We'll grab this photo. Let's go to develop. And inside of our local adjustments, let's just choose darken background without actually having our subject pop within the scene. I can just pull up on the slider here. You can see it's doing a really great job of just darkening that background and ensuring that it's not so distracting around our subject there. And it really helps to just make the background a little less intense and ensure that we're focused in on the subject itself. So that's how to use automatic local adjustments instead of on one light panel for your Lightroom workflow.